What's up guys, JV2017 here with another Advanced Warfare Multiplayer Tips and Tricks video. And this time we're looking at how to perform the new EXO movements in the multiplayer and the most effective ways to use them to your advantage on your enemies. So let's start out with the four most basic EXO movements. And let's start with EXO Jump. So the way you perform an EXO Jump is by double tapping the jump button. Just like that, very, very simple. Just double tap it really quickly. You'll get a nice boost in the air. So say I wanted to get into that window, all I would need to do is double tap the jump button and get up there. Also keep in mind, you can exo jump while you're falling down too. So you just need to be airborne. And all you need to do if you're falling down is click it once. Click the jump button once, and you'll get a nice boost in the air like that. So next up is the exo dodge, and when you're on the ground, you can only exo dodge to the right, left, and backwards. So the way you do this is clicking the left stick in in whichever direction you want to dodge. So right, or sorry, left stick in to the right, left stick in to the left, and finally backwards. It's very simple. You can use this to dodge incoming fire. However you want to use it, that's how you can use it. Next up is the exo slide. In order to do this, you just sprint forward and tap the crouch button. So that could be right stick or B or circle, depending on your console platform or button layout. And the last move we have is exo slam. And you need to be airborne in order to do this. So you can exo jump and then press the crouch button to slam back down. So here we go, jump and then slam back down and that actually hurts people if you're near them. Again, you can also be falling down to perform this. I think I need to be at a higher uh, place to do that, so I could just be falling down and exo slam down like that. And all you need to do, again, is press crouch to do that. So guys, you can chain these together to be really effective in the multiplayer. Some of my favorite combinations are the exo jump to exo dodge. You can also exo dodge in the air, forgot to mention that, so you can go side to side like that. And the way to uh, exo dodge forward is you have to be airborne, like I said. You can't do it on the ground. So you can jump up once and do it, or you can boost jump, or sorry, exo jump, and then exo dodge forward. And there's some nice combinations. Like I said, you can exo jump to exo dodge to exo slam, and that's an interesting combo, but you can't just spam the dodge. That's something that they really try to prevent. Like, I'm trying to spam it here. You can't do it. If you haven't done anything in a while, though, you can do two dodges in a row. Actually, it didn't work that time. Let's see. Let's wait a second. Left and then right, kind of. But uh, some, for the most part, it limits you on just going crazy all over the place. But that's a nice combo. And it's it's really just important to chain these together and something else to note that's very important i don't think a lot of people know this is that every time you use an exo movement it pings you in the top left so pay very close attention i'm gonna boost jump you can see that kind of radiating circle that comes out from my position that shows up on my enemy's radars wherever i am as red so they know kind of where people are when you know each see just keep looking at the top Right, I think I'll zoom in for you guys. You can tell that each movement I make pings me. So you wanna really be careful when you do these movements in enemy territory. And actually, I'm gonna show you guys a way to completely avoid that uh, you know, detection, and it's by using a certain perk. So let's just kill ourselves here. Go out of bounds there, oh no. And now I have what's called blast suppressor on. So every time I do an exo movement, you can tell on the top left, I don't show up. It doesn't ping on the radar at all. So I, th I think that's a fantastic perk, guys. I think I think blast suppressor is really good. It's in the third tier, and I highly recommend you use blast suppressor. Uh, you know, whenever. I think it's a great perk for you know, all time. You know, using it at all times. So. Anyways guys, if you learned something new from this video, remember to hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. Also don't forget you can subscribe to my channel for more Advanced Warfare multiplayer tips and tricks content coming very soon. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.